happy friday everyone and i hope you all had a positively wonderful christmas we are getting straight back to the grind here working on print on demand designs and we've got no time to waste since new year's and valentine's day are coming right on up on us that being said, I thought today I would share with you exactly how much I made from both Red Rebel and Tee Public in the month of December. Now, last December, I believe I did a rather poor month, and I was pleasantly surprised that I did do a little bit better this December than I did the last one. Usually, I kind of expect to make a couple of sales, you know, the first uh, two weeks or so of December and then have absolutely nothing the closer it gets to Christmas. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised uh, this year. I did actually continue to make sales uh, pretty close up till Christmas and I was surprised. Uh, and then I did end up making a another sale or two uh, just the day after Christmas, I suppose someone had a gift card somewhere and just so happened to stumble across a couple of my designs. So that was definitely a nice surprise or I guess Christmas present for me as well. Real quick, just in case you're new here, hi, my name is Katie, and on my channel I talk about my own print-on-demand journey so that I can share all the tips and tricks that I am learning with you to make your print-on-demand journey just a little bit easier. Alright, without any further ado, let's continue. So, I am happy to report that I did do at least a little bit better than I was expecting. So, let's go ahead, dive on into my dashboard, and take a look at all of my sales as well as my stats and traffic for the last month hello everyone here we are in the dashboard of my rebel shop first off let us take a quick look at my statistics so at the end of december 2021 i have a total of 533 followers i have received about 3400 favorites on my designs and I have sold a grand total of 229 products. As you can see from my earning summary here, I did a heck of a lot better this year in December than I did last year in December, since apparently I didn't sell anything last year in December. According to my dashboard, at least I'll have to double check to make sure on that one but as you can see from this lovely little chart right here i actually did surprisingly fairly decently uh during the month of december since i did anticipate really not getting many sales at all i was definitely pleasantly surprised so my grand total of how much i made in the month of december is about forty dollars uh, when I click on here, it only says 30, but that is because I did make a couple of sales uh, the last few days, and those have yet to be updated onto my dashboard. It's in my sales history, just not the dashboard just yet. Since, as I'm sure most of you are aware, it does take a few days after you make a sale for it to be reflected in your dashboard, and I believe that is because uh, Redbubble first has to manufacture and ship out that product before the funds can be 100% credited to your account. They're waiting to make sure that the order is not cancelled. So far, I have only actually had one uh, sale cancelled and it was just uh, a sticker. So certainly disappointing to see that a sale was cancelled, but I mean, you win some, you lose some. At least the ratio isn't too particularly high. Scrolling down to my stats and traffic, it looks like I had about the same amount of visitors this month as I did last month, perhaps a, a little bit less, uh, but a ton more than I did last December, as you can see. Didn't even crack 100 visitors this time last year, so I am certainly happy about that. 
I did get a ton of traffic in January of last year, so I will have my fingers crossed and hope that that trend will happen again this year. That would certainly be nice. Let's take a little bit more detailed look. All right, a solid chunk. About 134 visitors were from Redbubble's website itself. 108 of these visitors were organic, so most likely from search engines like Google. And social media, surprisingly, is still the largest chunk. So that would be from my Pinterest account as well as any advertising Redbubble does on social media that may have led someone to take a look at one of my designs. Let's go ahead and take a look at my sales history next. All right, starting off at the beginning of the month, I sold a mouse pad, which was certainly exciting. And following that, I sold, I believe, my first ever baseball cap. So that was really neat. I hadn't actually sold any of those with my designs on them since they were launched. So it was certainly nice to actually sell one for a change and it was even going to Australia, so that was extra fun. Right after, I sold an iPhone 12 case with one of my designs on there, followed by three stickers, two of which apparently went to England. And then after that, I sold my first ever pair of socks with a design on them that I totally would never have expected. So that's another reason to just make sure you have your designs enabled on all the products, even if you don't personally think it looks good. Because apparently someone else out there just might, and they'd buy it too. And then, to my surprise, I sold a another baseball cap with the exact same design on it, so that was pretty cool. And then I believe this was also a first for me, but I sold some coasters. So that was certainly nice. I might have to fiddle around a bit more with my artist margin on that one. Next up, I sold a fitted t-shirt, went to Canada apparently, and made a tidy $6 from that sale. And not too long ago, I sold another sticker to Canada apparently. And made a tidy two fifty one on that sale. The last couple of sales here have yet to be added to my dashboard, but they are, of course, still in my sales history right here. It was definitely a fun month for selling products that I'd never sold before, as well as a couple of designs that I'd never sold before either. So I guess uh, the fourth quarter can always surprise you, eh? That was very Canadian of me, wasn't it? Eh? Eh? <laughs> Alright, let's hop on over to my Tee Public store and take a look at how I did there. Surprisingly, I actually did really well on Tee Public this month. I normally don't even get this much uh, in earnings usually, so it was certainly a nice surprise. It's even close to rivaling my Redbubble earnings for this month. So making a nice uh, $32 off of Tee Public this month was certainly a welcome surprise. That brings my total earnings up to $334.25 and my total lifetime items sold to $170. So it was certainly a wonderful surprise to make such a decent number of sales on my Tee Public store as well. So I guess that makes the grand total about $70 combined for Redbubble and Tee Public for this month of December, which I won't be complaining about. I am certainly looking forward to receiving the payment notification in PayPal for that in a week or two in January. I can't believe this is wrapping up my earnings reports for 2021. The next time I do one of these videos, it will already be 2022. I'm very excited and I certainly hope that 2022 will bring me even more wonderful results so that I can share them with you all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. 
And if you did, please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more content just like this. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.